Welcome back here. Now I will teach you how to implement get the data from Firebase Firestore and load the data in our VA app. After we finish the configuration of our Firebase app, we are going to implement our Firebase app to get the data. So we go to main.js and start our coding. We first import the Firebase object we just created. So we import Firebase from a config folder and the Firebase.js. And then we are going to create two states. The first day is, is loaded. This is loaded is used to determine whether we have received the data from Firebase. If we have received the data from Firebase, we will print out the article we get. Otherwise, we do nothing. And other attribute called articles. The articles we set in the empty array is used to store all the article we had collected from Firebase. And also, before we start getting our data, we need to create an variable called db. DB is equal to Firebase dot Firestore. This variable is used to be a client to communicate with Firebase. If we get data, set data, or delete data, we need to call this client. And then we have create a new method from the React app, which is component the amount. When the component is loaded, we are going to get the article from the Firebase. And that's why after the component is amounted, and we're going to call the method called getMyArticle. In getMyArticle, we will call the, file, the DB object to communicate with add app and the Firebase. After the object is collected, we will store, we use set state method to store the article in our state and we set is loaded to true. So we build a new method called my new get my new articles. In here, what we are going to do is enter the location for our data. So we first enter db. Then we need to know where is our location. So we go to Firebase console again and check where is our data located. We have put a data, our data in a collection called articles. In article, we have a document to store one of these articles. So we go back to our code. We know that our article is located in a collection called articles. So we specify this location in our app. If you use db.collection, which means we will get all the data in inside the collection of articles. So we need to set the limit. Make sure the limit can not get too much articles. Otherwise, we will need to pay very high costs or our memory will have very low. So we can enter the limit into egg and call the get method to get the article inside the collection called articles. Also, Firebase also provides the then method which is used to receive the document after the get method is called. In the document, we will receive a document's corrections. We can use a if to check whether we have data inside this document. If the document is not empty, then we will go to store all the article. To do that, we need to use a for each loop 
to loop all the article. We first create an empty array to store the article we will get. We use for each loop and then we have a function we loop all the document and we create a new article variable to store the document ID sorry to store the document ID of this article and the data itself so we use the dot 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 operator to spread out the JSON format then we're going to push this article in the array we just created and then after the for each loop we set state to our state method we set our articles into all articles which we just created and after we store the article we need to tell the React app is now to print out the article and therefore we have the callback method we set state again but this time we're going to set state to is loaded okay so why we need to use two set state method instead of one times this is because article may leak sometimes to the set state to finish if the article is not set state finish the exploder method may not receive the articles to make sure the article is all set into articles we need to use the callback method to after the previous set state is finished then we execute the next set state method. After we have do the set state, then we go to the render method and we're going to render our article card. To render the article what we received, it, we first check the state whether it is loaded. So we add some HTML tag with container from the React strap. In the React strap, in the main container, we use a query basis to check the state. If the article is loaded, then we're going to loop, use a map method to loop our article. So in this curry basis, in this curry basis, we are going to return our article card. So we put the article card inside here and enter the return method. Oops. Okay. In here, we need to give the data to the props. And we set the props name cross data, which is the name articles, which is this one. Okay, you can see this uh, error here because if you use the question mark to determine the state, we need to also provide if the state is not loaded, how we do that. So we can just enter this one, which means if the state is loaded, then we will do this part. If the state is not loaded, we do nothing. Okay. And also we need to provide the key of the loop object, which means the article card. If there is many article card in our React app, without a key attributes, the React app will make an error for us 
because the React application cannot know which object we're going to change. So in this problem, we can add the call attribute call index, which is the loop index for our map method. So we can just easily to enter key is equal to index. Then we are going to implement the article card to receive props and use the received data to print out. So we go to article card in here, we are going to receive props. After we have received the props, we print out the props title, not the test title we have input. So we have delete the test title. We use curly braces for the JavaScript and enter props data titles. Either branch here, we will do it later. And after we have changed the title and we go back to our React app, then you can see the title was changed. The title which is the input title in a file base which is test article. So if you change the article to hello row and refresh it, you can see the data is loaded. So if you create more than one document in these collections, let's see what happened. We had generate auto ID set title is title two let's say we have the attribute called contact we can set uh, p maybe in p we have um, uh, hi here okay then i add more two more documents in the file base and then we will after we refresh it we can see there's a free article will display it we need to change the display branches in here and also we need to add the create date in the article to show, to show the user when is this article issued. So we get back for our code. We first change the topic into a props.data dot category label. And also, we are going to create new branches. We change the class name into um, create day, which is used to display the create day. In here, we skip the CSS first. In here, we are going to display the date. Since Firebase will return a timestamp object, to our app so we cannot just enter props dot day dot create day and the console will get errors for us and that's why we need to convert the create day timestamp into a string so to do that we can have a new method called times stamp to string and we import the timestamp here okay oh sorry it should be a export function okay in here we first create a date object which is from timestamp Okay, then we return the string. Return the date, get full years, and uh, date dot get month. Be careful of get month. We need to plus one here because month default is zero not one okay and lastly we do the get date 
date dot get date. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. What we are going to pass in this function is we are going to pass the seconds for the date object for the timestamp object. We cannot just pass the timestamp object because we need to use the seconds and convert it to the date object and we will print out the date object as a string format. First we go to this line and call this method and we will going to pass create date dot seconds the seconds string to this method and we will convert it to the string. So after we save it and we go back for our app. Okay. So you can see our label is displayed here and our date is displayed well. In the next tutorial, I will teach you how to make your app a router based applications and also we will teach you how to display the full article in an other page. Curiosity is a self-learning platform with knowledge-based recommendation systems providing a personalized learning experience for the self-learner and the school students. People could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.